new diesel heater install. She's installed. We'll start with the remote. The only thing I hate is it's in Celsius, but once you figure it out, it ain't so bad. Right now I got it maxed out, so it's running on high. And I haven't really tested the range of this yet. I'm going to hear in a couple minutes. I'll run into the house and check it out. But yeah, here's where I got the unit. Change the temperature there. So I put it over here because it's hard to get over there. So I'm going to come with a cable long enough to run it to over here. This is also, I can take this off if I want. So that's a cool option if you want to take it off and mess with it. But I did this one a little differently. I got my tube going down into the tank tank comes with it. I just used the old tank that I had up here. I added two brand new filters though where the other one only had one. This one come with that one and then I had this for I think a lawnmower or something so got to keep it nice and clean. I put my pump going up. That's the new pump by the way. I tried to zip tie the wires out of the way. I ran the line up the air intake right into the fuel intake. And you can see I got the exhaust hooked up there and the air intake. That's the air intake right there. You can probably hear that pump clicking. It's not as loud as the other one was. It's pretty quiet actually. I can't even tell it's going half the time. I hope you can see it pulsate in there. in there either but yeah she's running right now and what I'm doing is I got it pointed up and I got a ceiling fan there shooting it back down so it shoots it down right about my workbench which seems to work pretty good but here right now it's probably I don't know 72 degrees 73 degrees, I'm not sure what temperature is outside. But yeah, it's keeping it nice and toasty in here. This is the new one I just got a couple days ago. I just went through and did the install. I put the plate on. Got a little wires done up. It's a little nicer than the other slop that was sitting there. I still gotta install that setup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like it is now. Uh, sort of testing it. I'm sort of liking it though because I was going over at my workbench and heat blows right down on me. Right from that little fan you really can't tell how fast it's spinning but that thing puts off a lot of air. It comes down right over my workbench so that was working out perfect. So I don't know I might leave it like that. I might rig something up. I thought about having it run to the ground. That's where you should technically have hot air going to the ground so it rises up through everything. But I put that fan up there hoping that will spread it around and keep it moving through the room. So even if this is shooting straight up there, that's shooting it straight down in a broad area. So that's probably pretty good. Got the power supply hooked up. Okay, you can hear it running there. Let's put off some pretty hot heat. You can't keep your hand there for very long. It's freaking hot. This little remote is pretty cool. I'm liking that. So now I don't have to come crawl around my side by side to mess with the, the heater. Worry about going through tools and stuff over here. I can pretty much leave this on my desk. Or my bench or I can take it with me I, if the range is good from the man cave then this would be an awesome because I'd be able to turn it on and heat my shop up before I come out 
give me time to let it warm up before I come out and work when it gets nice and chilly out. But yeah, that's the diesel heater. Here's the old one. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that one. I do got a spare fan. I'm thinking about swapping out on it. It's been having fan issues. So maybe I'll do that and then I'll put it to use somewhere else. Well, I guess I could run it in here if I really wanted to warm it up. But yeah, I don't think I need two in here. I think this one should be good enough. 72 right now. I don't know. I guess we'll see come winter. I guess I'll leave it sit there. And see what it's like in here when it's really cold out. But for right now, I don't know. It kept my man cave pretty warm. It's only been running maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes at the most, 30 minutes. And it wasn't heated in here before then, and now it's like 72 degrees. But it's still pretty decent out, so I guess we'll see. But yeah, you can see it little fan up there. That's got a remote right there. You can get those at Menards or in the As Seen on TV thing, and... I got it just for the heck of it because I really didn't want to go through and put a big ceiling fan up there. But I'm really surprised at how much air that thing moves. You can just feel it. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's pumping out here. You can just see that thing moving. It's well worth 30 bucks. All you gotta do is have a regular light bulb socket to screw it into you. You can make it shorter, it comes with an extension, it's pretty cool. If you want to move some air somewhere and you don't really want to go through the install of a ceiling fan, there you go. But, this is a diesel heater setup. This is a new one I just got here the other day. It's got a few upgraded options, like the remote is upgraded before you couldn't see a display of what was going on or nothing. Uh, the new display has got more functions. I still got to mess with the fan speed. I want to kick that up a bit. Get into the RPMs and stuff. I'm still trying to figure that out. It's sort of a new system and they don't really have much on this one yet, I noticed. So I've been having to figure stuff out. But anywho, that's the uh, second part of the install of the diesel heater.